welcome back to Wild Bible Adventures. Today we're going to learn about when life is good, God is good. So what happened was with the Israelites, we come back and, and we're now talking, um, finishing up the, the lesson about them. And what they did was they mumbled and grumbled for a while. And because they mumbled and grumbled, what God said was, hey, you guys don't get to enter the promise. You have to let your children come into the promised land, but you guys don't get to come. So they wandered around for 40 years, and during those 40 years of wandering around, um, they weren't lost. God intended, intentionally put them in different places, and then they were coming upon, um, it was time for them to come into the promised land. And Joshua was now the leader because Moses wasn't going into the promised land. And Joshua was leading everyone. And what they were doing was they were carrying around what was called the Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark of the Covenant had our jar of manna in it. And it had uh, the Ten Commandments, the stone tablets with the Ten Commandments inside of it. And the priests, there would be four priests who carried the Ark of the Covenant, in front of all the Israelites um, as they went. So they were always in the front. So the Ark always went before everyone else. So you guys want to pick up the Ark? And they were coming up into the Promised Land. In fact, they could see it. You guys see the Promised Land coming up? They were so excited. You guys see it? Oh, but what happened? There was a big river in front of them. It was the Jordan River. And what are they supposed to do now? Have we ever been in this predicament before? Have we ever had this a large body of water that we could not uh, get across? Anybody think of anything? Oh, yes. We've been there before. But... What God said was he was going to make sure they got to the promised land. So he made a promise that said, you continue forward. So as the priest's foot touches the Jordan River, the river split to create, to create dry area for them to cross. But what he said was, as the ark as the priest cross with the ark, they are to pick up a stone as they come across. Go ahead. Okay, stay right here. And what else he said was that they needed to stand in the riverbed with their stones while everyone else was coming through. So they had to stand to create that dry to create that dry area for them as they walk through. And then once they were done, then they could actually enter into the promised land. So you can set the ark down here. And once they were done with that, then they had these really cool stones. And what they did was if you come over here, they set them all down to one big pile and they created a memorial. So the 12 tribes of Israel created a memorial for God to say, you kept your promise. God, you are good. Life is good. God is good. You kept your promise. You brought us to the promised land flowing with milk and honey. It had all of these animals. It had water. It was green and fertile and Everything was there, and God followed through with his promise. And so we know that when life is uh, good, God is good. But we create these memorials sometimes. You, you guys have ever seen a memorial um, or know a memorial that is in your life? So sometimes at the uh, place where we, where we bury people, there's a headstone, and that's like a memorial. But... There's also buildings and statues that are memorials that remind us of things. So as we have stacked up our stones here, maybe we can think of 
memorials that we've built throughout this week. Maybe we can say that um, each one of our stones represents something that we learned this week about God and life. So when life is, what else, what else did we? Bad. Sad. Bad. Bad. Scary. scary. And when it's good and when it changes, God is good. So this can be our memorial to remember that. And I wanted to read uh, to you from James 1.17, and it says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. So everything good in our life, it comes from God. And we call those blessings sometimes, right? And can anything, anybody think of anything good in their life? Family? Friends? Can you think of anything else? Food? Water? Animals? Pets? Yep. Health? Yeah. Lots of good things. Energy. Energy. Yes. <laughs> we are thankful for that. Plants. That's right. So we know that when life is good, God is good. 